My name's James Bond and welcome to St. Mary the Virgin here in Bowdoin in Cheshire. The church that we see here today was rebuilt in Victorian times, but the site has a much older history with the original church dating right back to the Anglo-Saxons. The religious site of St. Mary's has served this area since the earliest times and indeed from the Anglo-Saxon kings onwards, this church was used by everybody who lived in the surrounding areas. In 1541, at the dissolution of the monasteries, the parish was transformed to the Diocese of Chester from the Priory of Birkenhead. Now it's this part of the church that really intrigues me and it's full of stones and carvings that have been recovered from the surrounding land of St. Mary's the Virgin. Two ancient stone figures rest in the Stamford Chapel, also known as the Dunham Chapel. The best preserved of these is thought to be Sir William Bagley. Sir William, a knight recorded in purchasing property in 1320, was buried in Bowdoin Church. However, some time later, the effigy was removed and installed to the wall of a garden grotto in the 19th century. Later on, two keen historians recognised it for what it was and had it moved back to St Mary's Church. This is Dunham Chapel, owned and repaired by the Lords of Dunham Massey, the Earls of Warrington. This area of the church houses some of the oldest carvings found in the grounds, so it's well worth coming down to the Dunham Chapel to take a look for yourself. The Brereton Monument is the main feature of the north transept and it was originally located in the old Carrington Chapel before being moved to the sanctuary in 1860. It was relocated once again in 1888. This is a fine canopied memorial in gilded alabaster to William Brereton who died in 1630 and his wife Jane who died in 1628 of nearby Ashley Hall. I find it quite amazing just how much history surrounds us just where we live if we all make that effort to go out and look for it. The graveyard here at St Mary's the Virgin is extensive with graves dating back hundreds and some almost a thousand years old. those of you out there who think graveyards are a macabre place but I totally disagree. For instance this wonderful tomb just behind me, the work and dedication put into that for a loved one in the family. But it's much more than that. Graveyards give us so much history and so much information about the people and the times past. I hope you've enjoyed this brief insight into the Church of St Mary the Virgin here at Bowdoin. Why not pay a visit yourself and take a look at all the wonderful things I've shown you today. My name's James Baum, you've been watching TV Presenter for History.